Hi everyone, it's Angelique from Bright Spark Media. Welcome to our Facebook Quick Tip series, and we'll be talking about timeline for Facebook fan pages. Now everyone should have it by now. Facebook timeline did come in back in March. So today I'm going to talk about Facebook apps. It's one of the biggest questions that I get from people leaving questions on my page or from my clients. And first of all, let's start with what an app is. These are apps right here. Now they used to be called tabs in the old Facebook page format and when they were listed down the side in the menu. And now they're called apps or applications. And you can see there's four of them across the row here. This photos one always stays in this place and you can't change where it sits and you can't change which pictures are prominent. So the photo that appears is the last photo that you've uploaded. So you can see that there's four of them along the row up here and we can click on, let's say, click on this one. So this goes to a page that shows my YouTube channel. And what these apps do, most of the times they are iframes apps and it allows you to use Facebook almost like a window looking into another application. So in this case, it's looking at my YouTube channel. So that means people can look at my videos without ever look, leaving Facebook. So these are my last six videos that have been uploaded and you can play them right from in here. You can see the description and everything. So you can see it's actually a functional video. And then if you wanted to, you click on YouTube and actually go visit it in YouTube. So we don't need to watch that right now. I'll just press pause. And if you want to take a look back here, this just lists the apps again, and you can go back to timeline this way, or you can go back to my timeline by clicking on that button. So I'll just enlarge the screen again for you. So if you wanted to move the apps around, you just click on this little button here. So you notice if I put the mouse over right now, it's just got the hand. That means you can click on it and it will do something. So when you click on it here, now when I mouse over, it's got this little pencil icon and that means that you can edit. So let's say I wanted to change the order. Let's say I want to have my most prominent apps at the top. Um, so if I've got a workshop coming up, maybe I want to change that. So let's click on here and you can see at the top it says swap position with. So I've got the choice of videos, notes, and likes. And where is events? Right there. And you can see it's already flipped it over. So if I wanted to change the name, click on that and click on edit settings. And the custom tab name can change it, let's say, uh, workshop sign up. Let's say we want to change it to workshop sign up and just click on save and then hit OK and it's going to change it immediately. It's right there. So if you wanted to actually change the picture, it's the same process. Just click on that, edit settings, and you would change the custom image here. So click on change and it opens a new window and then you can change it here. Click on change and it's just going to choose a file from your desktop or wherever you've got it saved. So I don't need to do that. I'm just going to click cancel and back out of it. You can see it's actually opened a new tab. So I'll just go back to my Facebook page. I'll hit OK. And I can just close that back up. So that was a quick tour on how to change the name of your app and how to change the order of them. And we'll be doing some more quick tips in the next few episodes. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. So please hit subscribe and you can also hit like if you found this helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.